What's going on guys and guys, it's Dragon to get back again with our Duel Links content video. Today we're jumping in with some gear guys. We're gonna be trying, we're gonna bring them back, you guys are gonna be looking at them again. I thought, and you know what? I was looking at some cards and decks that I wanted to play. And I've seen a lot of people playing some older decks again, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna check out gear guys. I was like, I miss these guys, these guys are pretty fun. So, we're gonna be jumping in with these guys today. Um, but before we do actually jump into that, I want to take a look at the new ban list and the upcoming changes and stuff to come to the skills. I was going to make a separate video on this, and I was like, mm, mm, nah, I'll just squeeze it into one video. So it might be a slightly longer video, but half of it's the ban list. Um, so I might leave a timestamp on screen, which will give you, um, which will leave you the link basically to the actual de duels, in case you don't care about the new ban list. But if not, um, if you do care about the ban list, then stick around, because we're going to go into it. So yeah, I will go over the deck first, and then I will we'll go into the ban list. So for the deck, we're using balance and um, best skill. Basically, two gear guys. Now restarts nerfed. Um, we have double gear guy attacker, uh, double accelerator, triple anchor, double arsenal, one Tizer veteran, and um, one eat cousins like a one offerings, double for Vinjals, one for super headlong, double pay as I can hit it, double trap hole, and like a trap hole, and double pulse mines. So this is going to be the basically the one Tizer burden variation of this deck because well as you can see you have one I have one so I only have one of these puppies um so I only got one of these guys basically so we're just going to be rocking at the deck that just has one in it um which I hope you guys are cool with because uh, Tizer of Bedlands is a pretty good card for your guys because basically it's pay thousand life with ten target one level four lower monster you control for the rest of the turn after this card itself you cannot special some monsters uh, also special two monsters from a deck with the same type, attribute, and level as that monster, but with different names. Uh, regener, you cannot conduct your battlefield turn activate this effect. So it doesn't even matter to turn activate this effect, because if you have something that can, like, maybe aggro on the board, you know, you can flip them over, and uh, flip them back up, and, you know, because you have two on the board, you can act destroy two monsters, so it's going to be kind of nice. Real, real nice. Gear guy attack of spell and traps. I'm running an extra cosmic cyclone, because I do not have a third one of these guys. Um, for some reason, I just never got to get around a third one, so we're going to be using just basically the cosmic cycle. That's why we're gonna be using one accelerator instead of the third third guy. Um this guy's okay. Um this guy's not bad because he's a good searcher. Uh yeah, Forbidden Chalice is just a really freaking good card. Offerings to destroy a monster if you want to, except for Shedlock. Nice thing about offerings and ties is you can get extra two monsters with the cost of you know not your skipping your draw phase or whatever with offerings. Um yeah, basic spell yeah, pretty self explanatory. Actually we need some good old sleeves breaking the fort wall. Uh Let's go with these. Like these are these are freaking cute and awesome, and I love them. Oh my god, it's so cool. Um, that doesn't really go together. Um, they're so cool. Oh, they're oh, they're so good. Uh, let's find a map. We could go chibis. They're both kind of chibis, but like not the same color. They don't really go together. Um, uh, honestly, that doesn't look too bad. I might rock that out. Um, yeah. So sorry, I just have to pick a man's leaves, you know. Me and my man says I gotta get a good one's going. So, yeah, the timestamp will be on screen probably a few minutes ago. Time scramp, eh, scramp? What? <laughs> timestamp was on the screen. Um, so yeah, skip ahead, but we're gonna dive into not this. That's my inbox. Or my gift box. Um, we're gonna press it again. We're just gonna keep pressing. Alright. We're gonna dive right into it. The forbidden skill and balance changes. I wanna go over this real quick before we, um, because this is a doozy. It just won't take too long, though. So it'll take, it won't take long. So let's take a look at the skill rebalancing. Um, oh, ouch, this is kind of... This is tough. This is honestly tough. Um, it's not... It's two skills. It's two skills are getting hit, I think, is it? Yeah, two skills are getting... Only two skills are getting hit, but damn, it's an interesting change. So yeah, let's go. So the rebalancing skills will play to get blah, blah, blah. So the two skills that are getting nerfed basically or trick up your sleeve and last gamble so trick your sleeve arcane is a self-proclaimed master of dark magician therefore will change the skill to better reflect his character um l last gamble and then the skill skip for easy gaining a huge advantage so we'll make it its activation conditions harsher okay so updated trick up your sleeve is your starting hand will include one level seven or higher dark spellcaster monster randomly selected from your deck this skill will not activate if, you, if your deck does not contain a level 7 or hard uh, dark podcaster monster. Same as always, I think. You cannot special summon monsters the effect during your first turn. Okay. Um. Damn. Damn, damn. So that's gonna... Yeah, that's really gonna hit the uh, Blue Eyes players a lot. It's basically... 
The thing I don't like about that though, because this whole deck is supposed to be base. This entire Trigger Your Sleeve deck is basically was centered around. Well, that wasn't really centered, but it was the whole point of when you'd use a Dark Magician, so you could have a Dark Magician to your hand. But then the skill ends up being like the go to skill for Blue Eyes decks, which really sucked because I would prefer to keep it, you know, not nerfed for the Blue Eyes, for the Dark Magician decks, because the Dark Magician decks aren't OP or anything, but the Blue Eyes decks are a bit annoying. So that's why your Cosmo Brain is basically what's getting hit there. Is it Cosmo Brain? Cos Cosmic Brain? Cosmic. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I haven't used Blue Eyes in like years. <laughs> so basically, he got hit, so now you cannot special summon. You can't even summon him the turn. You, if you add him to your hand, you can't summon him um, the first turn. So, that's interesting. That's honestly kind of cool. That's not cool, but it's it's interesting. I mean, I think it's it's for the best, honestly. Um, I just feel like Dark Magicians... I don't really like Dark Magician basically getting a hit for something. It's not, not its fault, but whatever. So, last gamble. This can't be used for seven... Turn seven on Mart. Okay. Just your life points to, to your to one hundred and shuffle two cards from your hand. Reject same as always. The roll of die draw comes to at draw cards equal to the number uh, rolled. So okay. So it's basically just move from five to seven, which is I guess is okay. I mean it can be. I suppose it's fine for like PVE stuff. Where you know you're doing like the whole. If you're doing the tag tournaments, basically you can just play an extra two turns. Um, it's not too bad, but for definitely for PVP, it's definitely getting a big big, big hit there. Um. Yeah, so <laughs> that's um hmm, that's interesting. It's really interesting. Uh yeah, record of skill changes like that's the past skills. You can see all the skills that were hit a long time ago before. So look at that. May two thousand seventeen. Um but yeah, so that's interesting. Um these are and these skills are dropping on the eighteenth of March, which is da -da -da -da, next Tuesday. Okay. So next Tuesday your skills are getting hit. Um, those two skills are getting hit. Not a big, just not a big entire skill change, but it is it's definitely something worth talking about because it's a big, it's a major like meta, not really meta too much anymore, but top tier deck that is getting hit basically now. And I mean, last gamble, it's still a really good skill. I mean, the turn seven onwards is fine. It just you can't really rely on it as much now. Um, so I guess it could be you see what happens. Um, now we have the forbidden and limited. Uh, ban list basically from the 25th nothing to ban obviously but 25th of March this is getting hit on the 25th of March which is lo and behold next Monday or the following not next Monday the following Monday so this is two weeks away um this ban list oh it's 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 so good it's oh I love it it's honestly it's amazing <laughs> it's it's amazing Okay, it's only four cards, but it's four. It's two key decks getting hit. Um, it's three, t three key decks getting hit actually. So this is limited to, one. Uh, yeah, sorry, limited to one. Koki Mirror Maximus finally getting limited to one. This is a stupid broken card, and, and it needs to be limited. We're limiting this card as having three copies of this card allowing Koki Mirror decks to consistently end duels in one turn. Yes, good job, Konami, with your one turn kill. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, it's it's insane. Like it's your OTKs. Um, Spellbook of Eternity. Um, and, or I could click off it. That's cool. Spellbook of Eternity is getting hit. So spellbooks are getting hit. Do decks that use this card have a consistent high winning percentage over the course of many months. Therefore, we are limiting this card to prevent the man meta game. So I managed, but shouldn't Spellbook of Faith get hit too? I think that's a little bit annoying. I suppose this kind of stops the faith. But I mean, this is getting limited to one, so I guess that's cool. Um, wasn't Faith already limited to two, though? Oh, Faith was already limited to two, so... Oh, never mind. Yeah, that's right. Faith was limited to two. Um, wasn't it, I think? Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. Spellbook is getting hit again. I think I hate Spellbook because I hate Spellbooks. They're so stupidly annoying. <laughs> I just don't like Spellbooks, honestly. I never built them, and I never will. Honestly. No, I definitely won't will now because they're nerfed into the ground, but... Yeah, I'm going to say nerfed into the ground, but they're definitely getting a big hit, um, which is much, much needed. Um... Yeah, it's much, much needed. Okay, so now we're on to the semi-limited only two cards out of the deck. We have Iron Core of Koki Mara. We're semi this card in order to make Koki's le That's good. Two, this limited two and this limited one is just, it's just, oh, it's so good. Um, oh man, it's amazing. I love it. Koki Mara's are gone. I'd say they're not, maybe not gone, but they're, they're pretty much dead in the water now. Which is what they, honestly, what they deserve. Um, I'm sorry, it's just, I, it's, they, they deserve it, like, screw Kogis. Um, 
yeah, so I think that's pretty good. Definitely, dinos are going to be coming up. I think dinos might actually be the top tier deck now. Dinos might replace Koki's, which is what somebody said. Um, the dino, of course, or dinos will replace Iron Chorus. Or di what? Dinos will replace Koki Mirrors, which is what's happened. Um, sorry for the high pitched yell. I don't know what that was. Um, but yeah, so the other card that's getting semi limited is Samurai Skull. Um, which is interesting. Uh, this is obviously to hit vampires, but this is really interesting. Dex deck uses this card of consistent, consistently high winning percentage over there. Of course, many months, therefore, we're assuming this card to prevent the metagame becoming stale. Well, mm, some people might not agree with you. Some people might not agree with that. People might agree that the metagame was stale long before this card came along. Or still stale. But whatever. Um, so when this card is. Normal summons you can send one zombie monster from deck to grave. So basically, you just send the your familiar or your retainer. Um, so yeah, that's that. So that's starting. Um, so I just want to check something. Was it when was the last day? Was it January? It was here. Yeah. Okay. So it was limited to. I'm an idiot. I was like, why didn't this get hit? And because I already did get hit. It's limited to. So now you can't really use that much with faith. Uh, you can't really use that with um, the other one. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm really excited about that. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it then to go over. These changes, yep. So twenty fifth of March, that's when that's happening. Um yeah. Oof, spicy, spicy, spicy changes. Small small update, a small change. Not as not as that big massive skill overall we had there that one month. Um but still. Small but significant. Yeah. <laughs> I post so uh, okay. This is the part where we jump back into the rank tools. We're, going, we're not back in, but go into the rank tools. So yeah, um, I'll catch you guys over there. All right, boys, that is officially the ban list and forbidden ban list for and um, um, skill changes. If you didn't see it, then you don't know. Obviously, you know you're just here for the rank tools. So this is the basically the regular part of the video. It's got like a whole little advertisement for intermission, <laughs> basically just a kind of thing to go over. So yeah, this is where the regular duels happen. Alright, with that little guess disc or whatever disclaimer, not disclaimer, but duel thing out of the way. Well let's go with the first duel. And um yeah, let's uh, see what we can do. So I wanna see just crown bell city show no, he's done that already. Um sliding that a bit. But let's see basically how good guys fare up in the meta today. I am interesting to see these guys well they weren't top tier but they were a good deck. They were a King Games deck. They were people got to meet them King Games many a time. But um this card gains two hundred fifty three damage. Oh yeah. Um, I might do that actually. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna trip him off for uh spell monster spell. We have a ways of dealing with monsters. Let's go have an attacker. And we'll flip him back over. Do I want to do that already? I guess I do. Uh, and we'll set both of those. Um, set both of those and land our turn. So I, I, I do love, I do love gear guys. I have missed these guys. These guys are pretty cool. They used to be really, really, really good. I don't know the hell good they're they are now, obviously, but they used to be, um, used to be really freaking good. Oh god damn it! <laughs> mm. Gosh darn it! Um. Face on the Yeah, I'm gonna see him straight into this. He can, so that won't obviously not going to feel destroy it. That's enough. That's not enough for an OTK. Obviously, it's not enough for an OTK. That's doing one. I mean, he's getting me to basically. Oh, well, we're gonna tribute him off again. And we'll grab an anchor because this is monsters. Um, we'll flip him over then. Uh, we'll flip him over, and we'll go. We'll flip up our uh, anchor. And we'll flip up our anchor.
Sorry guys, I know you probably heard those dogs barking in the background. That was not supposed to happen. Um, he went for... okay. Shut my door. Um, he went for the Dark Magician. He went for the Magician's Robe, okay. Can we flug at that? We can flug at that, right? Yeah, we can flug at that. We'll flug at that. Um, so Dark Magician deck. Dark Magician deck. That's pretty cool. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay. Sucks. He might have another Dark Magician hand, which he does. Which we are going to... This. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> See you later. My guy. Okay. And I didn't... Flip him over. Turn. Uh, damn it. Flip him up. Oh, I... I screwed up. Because I meant to... Have... I screwed up. I actually screwed up. Um, boom. Oh, I could have left him in attack position. God damn it. He's calling my bluff. He called my bluff and he got the bluff. He got the bluff off. The bleh, say that four times real fast. <laughs> he got the bluff off. And he got the D draw. And screw me. <laughs> Excuse me. Please do not. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> Sorry. Um. But yeah, God, damn it, that sucks. Um, I'm trying to think what he could grab would save him right now. A lot of things could. Um, a dark magic curtain could save him because you know, it's dark magic curtain. Um. What did he grab? He probably just grabbed the. He probably just grabbed the robe or a rod. Um. Okay, we're gonna do that. Let's find out what this is actually. <coughs> yeah, dark magic curtain because he went for the. Um, slip him over. Okay, we got attacker. To two cards. No. Yeah, he went for the robe, which is fine. And. Boom! Got the W. First one out the gate with a W. That's awesome. I love it. Oh man, I miss you guys. So good. Alright boys, so let's go in with our uh, third duel. Um, I'm gonna keep, definitely gonna keep that loss in. We're one for one at the moment, so I do want to keep the loss in. Um, because I do want to, you know, see, I want to see basically how well good guys are basically, you know, fair in the meta. And damn it, well we're gonna be cutting this one. <laughs> Unless we can somehow stop going first and beat it. <laughs> Alright. But, um, yeah, we're basically going to see how well your guys are faring in the meta and see how well they can hold their own, I guess you could say. Uh, which is always nice. Now, I'm going to put him in the attack position this time. Uh, put him in attack position. I mean, Super Rush is basically a dead card against a freaking Middle Edge Max deck. Or Ancient Gears deck because. Basically, they're not gonna, unless your opponent's dumb to attack, it's a dead card, basically. So, they're not gonna attack your monster. Um, we have Pulse Mines, which is okay. Not gonna worry about that. Uh, Pulse Mines, though, we do have. Um, wish I had a f Ancient Girl Golem, wish I had a Floodgate. Um,. Okay, I really want Anchor, though, not Attacker. Anchor would be super dope. Ooh, okay, this one. I see what it is. It's Diffusion. Diffusion? It's. Yeah, Diffusion deck. Um, okay. Alright. Here comes the Poly. Oh no, well, that, no, never mind. Super Shadowlong is not a dead card. Take on face of monster. Battles when your opponent's monster. You can, you can use it to attack with. Sorry, I forgot. It's about forgot Super Shadowlong is not when you attack. It's just when you, um. When you, uh. Like. When you. Oh my god. 
It's basically just when your monster battles. It's not actually when it's attack. Okay, we're at the battle phase. We're gonna go pulse mines. Yeah, I'm so stupid. Sorry, guys. I'm so stupid. Yeah, it's it's not that's not how it works. Um, don't mind me. <laughs> Econ. Okay. You're really gonna do that. Interesting. I mean, go off. I guess. Sure? Question mark? Um, cool. Your guy? Even better. Tizer Bedwin. Um, alright, let's see how this Tizer Bedwin works. Tizer Bedwin. I have not used this yet. So we go one monster we control. We cannot conduct the battle phase to make this effect. So I forgot about that. Whoops. <laughs> anchor. Anchor. So we'll grab an anchor and we'll grab. Uh, arsenal? Arsenal. Okay, we're gonna do that. So we can't flip them back over yet. That's fine. So we're gonna end our turn. Because we, we're okay though, because we have the Pezzo Canadia and Super Headlong if we need it. I'm gonna put the button on actually. So he's got one card in hand, so hopefully he doesn't have an extra monster. Um, we are gonna put this thing. We're gonna put this thing in defense position. Uh, we're gonna flip it back over basically when he goes into the battle phase. He's probably gonna go straight to the battle phase. Um, straight to the battle. Okay, let's go battle. Let's pass a good idiot then. Actually, so is destroy monsters on the field. So it's not. F um, it's not. Um, it's not. Um, what you call it? It's not. Uh, face up monsters. Wow, I cannot speak. <laughs> I cannot speak today. Okay, so we're that's pretty cool. I like the way Taz works. So we're gonna flip anchor up, and we're gonna eat this thing off the field, and boom! Forgot about this. I actually forgot about that. So I'm just trying to get some of the your golem. Not gonna worry about it though. Literally not gonna worry about it yet. Anyway, um, I will put him back over though. Just to have him back over. Uh, I'm afraid of the Sphere Karibo. That's the only thing. Super Rush Headlong. We're going to have to activate it now. I'm afraid of the Sphere Karibo because this could really, really suck. Um, Earth. Because the Sphere Karibo could be a bit of a problem. If there is one. There is not one. So, if there's no Sphere Karibo, then we can just continue to end our turn. So, I think we're pretty much good to win this one. Um, this is definitely beating. It's clapping an Ancient Gear deck. We're going from losing an Ancient Gear deck to clapping one. It's not the. You're obviously most meta ancient gear deck in the world. That's a bit of that kind of sucks. Um, it's not the most meta ancient gear deck in the world, but um, yeah, it actually has one. Wow, you're gonna do that. Well, I'm gonna activate this now. Then screw it. Cause it's, it's, why not? <laughs> Can't do anything. Yeah. Okay. Beat him. Freaking beat him. Made him surrender and everything. Oh yeah. That's how we do it, boys. Alright, awesome. That's freaking cool. I like it. <laughs> Alright guys, that was pretty good. Um see so yeah, I'll give go for we'll do another duel. We'll do one more duel. We'll do we'll end this on one more duel. And um Yeah, so let's end it on one more duel. Uh we just lose one. I have lost I will admit I have lost a couple times I cut them, a couple losses. I kept the one loss in. Um but yeah, they're definitely not. Your guys are definitely not. They're no longer in their um, in their glory days. They're definitely not in their uh, glory days. Um, they're well past their um, their expiration date, definitely. But however, that being said, they are fun. They are still fun as they were. They are still as fun as they are back in the day. I love them. They're cool. I like them. They're still really fun to play, and, um, yeah, that's pretty much my whole two cents on the whole thing so far, and, um, yeah, really, st I still like these puppies, I still like these guys, they are still cool, you know what, instead of flipping over a gear guy attacker, we'll destroy the monster, or we'll destroy the back row, manage it, it's gonna be drowning mirror force, I'm kinda glad I hit that, I was gonna destroy it anyway, but, uh, I swear to god, this is like snowman eater, actually, 
Kokomero Ice. Oh, Kokomero. Severe Karibo. He has that Severe Karibo in hand, I can tell. Or I can see it. It's there in hand. Um, I know because I know that you carry Severe Karibos. Um, Kokomero's. God, I wish this was updated, Kokomero's, but obviously not getting banned till 25th. I'm not getting banned till 25th. So, I'm going to have to wait on that part. Um, offering the Doom. Trying to face the monster field. Let's flip this puppy over. Activate his effect. Activate his effect. Hit the card. Boom. It is rec re uh, Reckon Power. Turn Just try to face down. Bells and Jaffa field. Um. Okay, let's. He has the Sphere Karibo, I'm pretty sure, so I don't know whether I want to. Does he have the Sphere Karibo? He, he does, right? Yeah, I think he. No, he doesn't. I think I'm mistaken. I, mistake, I thought it saw it pull up on the activation, but I don't think it did. Um, so I don't think it did. But, um. Yeah. Okay. per turn you can send one card. None of these guys are special summoned to the field, so who cares? Anti magic arrows. Okay. I I Good for you I guess? <laughs> I mean sure my guy Go off, I guess. I mean that just causes me to win the duel, so I mean I mean he was gonna lose either way, but like still that's funny. <laughs> it's real funny. Um, that's real funny. So, I think that will include it. So we clapped the Kokimara deck, we clapped the Ninja Gear deck. Not, granted, not the best decks in the world, not the best, not the best decks in the world, but not the best, um, the best variations of the decks, I guess. Um, but yeah, I did lose a couple of those that I cut out, so they're definitely not as, um, in their glory days, but they're still really good. And, um, definitely something worth revisiting. If you're looking, if you just want something to play, if it's a bit of fun, looking for a bit of fun, your guys are definitely still in that category. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you hit the like button, if you really enjoyed it, um, hit the subscribe button, turn the content on the way, and I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Peace.